doing welcome back to my youtube channel so what i thought instead of doing a vlog this week i would do a sit down tutorial like the old days because one of my main questions is how i get volume bob like this this picture here and because i've got short hair every like it is a bit of a weird one so i'm going to go through the products i use and just my whole routine but i'm actually off to newcastle today to oh god wasp outside we're driving to Newcastle today for my best friend's engagement. Yes, I've got about 10 best friends in Newcastle. It's getting beyond the joke. Everyone's getting married. So, I'm going to do it, pin curl it, and then do the grand reveal in Newcastle in my sister's house, and you can see it. But that means it's been an all day, so just remember that. But at the same time, it's got to hold itself all day, so it's a good test. So, one of my first things I have been using is this. Grow Gorgeous Volume Bodifying Shampoo and Bodifying Conditioner. So, this actually comes in a kit with this bad boy as well, which is, oh god, the Volume Bodifying Leave-In Serum. So this actually really helps. So I washed and conditioned my hair with this this morning and it just adds some like crispiness to the hair. Do you know like when you dry shampoo your hair and it feels a bit like hard and it's nicer to like blow dry and it's got a bit of grip. That's what it does. But like it feels like it's doing something. It's like adding like protein to the hair. So when you get all your heat tools, it just adds a bit of crisp, you know? I love this. This is nearly empty. This is the big volume mousse by VO5. And this just adds a little bit more grip. I think because you have got short hair, products are your best friend with this. Short hair, it can be really soft because it is quite healthy because you get a cut all the time. I found when I had extensions, it was a bit easier for volume because it was a bit dead. The final thing I am going to go in with is this colour wow it's a bit dirty raise the root thickening and lip spray and now i'm going to go in with my air wrap so this is the main part the air wrap and i know there's little tubes out there and you can do this with um straighteners and then pin curl them in but personally it is worth the investment i got this one on the Dyson website, I think it was 360 refurbished and I did it on Kalana, so it didn't feel that much of a hit. Not seeing get into Kalana, but if you want to invest, like if you do actually, we'll think you, if you do think you'll make the most out of one of these, I love this. Like I use it all the time. So, and when people say it's not good on short hair, it is. So with the air wrap, you have to dry your hair. 90% so we'll pop this little peel tool on and I'm going to do that now and then come back to start styling. Now it is 90% dry, you can see it's just like a little bit damp and I've just pinned the top up because we're going to start on the bottom and you get them clips from some couple of pink curl things, what they're called rollers. This one has been always in the bottom of your drawer aren't they and then you're like god will these fucking rollers piss off and then you actually need them and they're never there. I've got these two and I've got this. How aesthetic. <laughs> Go in the bottom with this smaller tool. So because the bottom of my hair is shorter than the top, this tends to not stay. So if I'm going to go in with the smaller tool, just so it's more volumed and more like pinned. And I'm going to go in with the one that faces in. So it's like, that's the one that faces out, as you can see. So let's find the one that faces in. So like that way, right? I'll just go and get me clips. Maybe one second though shot of cold air and then I'm going to turn it off, slide it out, right, pop my finger through and then clip it with the pin and that is the first one. Right, I've done this part now. As you can see, these all face down. I don't know why this one's a bit messy at the back, but we're not here for perfection. I don't know how people get their curlers so perfect, because I can't relate. Right, I'm going to bring it down. I'm bring the next layer out. Pop this on the top. Go with the next layer. So instead of going under, we're going to go over, and this is what's going to give the volume. I've seen this recently, and it does work. We are just going to pin this bad boy up. So, 
one's under one's up is this making sense i'm gonna go around the head and do that halfway through i don't know why this one's so high but the feeling crunchy they're feeling up there flag right my pink curls are never perfect perfect pink curls doesn't mean that your hair is going to perfect as long as they're up there and they're in that's all that matters the front the top the top this is the most important bit how are people doing this so neat i actually just don't get it right you stay up there we'll deal with you after appeal this one i'm gonna do it out like the last one and then the back section i'm gonna do it this way B or B. We're getting through this. <laughs> oh, also, I found this in my drawer, which I actually really like. This is Hair by Sam McKnight. Barely there, texture mist. A little bit of texture mist through it. Does actually help um, grippiness for the clips. Because otherwise it can be a bit too soft. So, a little tip there. That's really good. And you can get texture mist, texture mist from anywhere. I've got a Beauty Works here one as well. Matte, matte dry texture so now when you've got this chunky bit which i'm going to separate into two and take that in turns just blow drying it back like this this is where the heaviness is so you've got to do this in like sections so i'll do this in half you see right and then the last part it's going to be <clears throat> like this. The last part, remember, I put raised the root on. Right, I'm just going to use this, is actually from the Mark Hill collection, and you're meant to do that like this, and it comes off. I bought these ages ago, but this was before I had my ear up. But they are really good, you get loads of these and loads of these, but I've only got two left. And then, because you can see, this is a lot of hair, get this brush and we're going to roll this bit up. And then grab this little thing. Voila, we're on. And now I'm just going to do a quick little of hairspray. There is some falling out here and there, but I'm in the car. We'll unravel this before I'm about to go out and we'll see what the final thing is. Let's hope it looks good and it stays volume because there's so much product in here, so it's better. update this is how volumed it is so it is i'll show you in here a bit easier you see it's more like a volume blow so much more more body than it had before it just drops in a nice amount rather than it curling and it looking too much oh God. But, yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you try it tell me in the comments